welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. Today in my kitchen, I'm about to make all kinds of skincare uh, remedies and recipes. And before I do that, I wanted to kind of go over some of the basics that you will be using. And um, these are just some natural ingredients that I make a lot of recipes out of. So I kind of wanted to go through them really quick and just talk about them by themselves without necessarily being used in a recipe. Because all of these actually can be used by themselves. It's just that we like to get kind of creative and make stuff. Uh, so let me show you a few of the things that you'll want to have around for some recipe making. First of all, vitamin E oil. This is uh, very easy to find and you're going to want to use a few drops in some of your mixtures like lotions and wrinkle creams and things like that. One, because it does help to preserve your product but also because it's awesome for the skin. So we know that vitamin E is antioxidants and you just want to um, use a little bit of it and a few drops at a time. It's really good for eye creams and things like that. So I love that vitamin E oil. This one um, came from Mother Nature's Essentials, but you can find all kinds of different ones on the market. So that's a must have. This is uh, another oil that I am newly loving, carrot seed oil. Um, if you're in the sun a lot, like me, I live in Southern California and I'm out in the water and on the beach a lot and just outside. So it's always something to consider is, you know, how much sun you're getting. So we know we want vitamin D on, in our bodies and the sun helps us to get that, but we also don't want to damage our skin. So sunscreen is important, but in the sunscreens that are mostly available, there's a lot of chemicals. So this is a great alternative to some of those uh, chemical sunscreens. Carrot seed oil is supposedly about a 40, SPF 40. Um, I use another sunscreen on top of it if I'm going to be in the water for a long time, uh, but this is just a really good addition to some of your mixtures. So I'm going to make a recipe for a tinted sunscreen with this in it, um, and that's really great. Carrot seed oil is also really good to make your hair grow, so you can massage your scalp with it, and do it before you go to bed and it helps your hair grow thicker. It's also really good for wrinkles and um, sun damage. So if you've had sun damage on your skin, I would use this every day on your skin. And it's not greasy or sticky, it absorbs right in, so you can use it just by itself. But we're gonna make some recipes with that. Another one that I love, sea buckthorn oil. This is an oil that can be used internally as well as externally. It's actually been used as a cancer preventative, sea buckthorn, because of all of the antioxidants that it has. But another really great oil for uh, protecting your skin, preventing sun damage. It also stimulates cell growth, so never can have too much of that, especially if you're you know, trying to deal with some sun damage that you've had or scarring, acne. All of those can be helped with sea buckthorn oil. It's also been really good for rosacea and psoriasis. So kind of any skin condition that you've had, this one can be really good for. And then we have tamanu oil. So tamanu oil is known for its use in stretch marks. Um, you can use it on the belly, uh, but you also can use it for acne. And I like it as a uh, aftershave because it's really good for rashes, razor burn, um, even ingrown hairs. So if you get any issues like that, um, this would be great to use all by itself. It is a really thick oil and honestly, I don't really love the scent of it. So I make a uh, aftershave balm and we're going to make one of those with uh, this and a few other natural ingredients. So these are some of the oils that I like to keep on hand. And then of course you want some carrier oils. So I use sweet almond oil a lot. Um, olive oil is, you know, kind of something everybody has and that works really well. You can also use avocado oil, um, grapeseed oil, all of those work good as a carrier oil. So that will be your base in many ingredients. Um, also vegetable glycerin. This is used for uh, moisturizing the skin. So it's a humectant. It actually pulls moisture from the air. So I like to put a little bit of that in my moisturizers and lotions. You can also clean your teeth with it. It's a teeth whitener. We can make uh, toothpaste with baking soda and glycerin. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that. So that is a uh, vegetable glycerin. And then you want some other waters to add in to make things like serums. We're gonna make a serum today. And so I'm gonna use this orange blossom water. It's an amazing scent and something you can find in a, uh, I think I got this one at a uh, international market. You can order them online, they're really inexpensive. Kind of like using essential oils, but not as therapeutic. That is a whole other thing that we would add to these. 
for uh, medicinal property and for preservatives and things like that. And then we have witch hazel. I like this one that is alcohol free. We're going to make um, a makeup remover with this one. So the alcohol free version is a little less drying on the skin, but you want something astringent to help pull things off of your skin like makeup and excess oil. So this is usually used like a toner. So those are some of the other liquids. A um, couple other things that are kind of important. You're gonna to wanna to use wax. I don't use beeswax for lotion. And um, the reason is because it separates. So I use this plant-based emulsifying wax and I find that it keeps things from separating much, much better. And it's really inexpensive and easy to use. It comes in these little granules. So it's easy to measure um, and is not as sticky as beeswax. So it's just a little easier, more forgiving to use. Another ingredient I'm super into right now is hyaluronic acid. So this stuff holds about a thousand times its weight in water. So we mix it with a little water. Today I'm gonna to make a uh, hyaluronic acid serum with orange blossom water and vitamin E and some essential oils. It's pretty amazing. It helps to hydrate the skin. Um, so it's not really having a corrective effect on the skin, but it's more just to keep it hydrated. So if you have dry skin, it's definitely something that you want to use. You can also take it internally for joint health. So those are a couple other ingredients that you'll love. And of course, you got to have some containers. So I always get a little case of these amber bottles for my liquids. Uh, you can find them with a spray top or atomizer. Dropper bottle tops work, depending on, you know, if you're using it for a serum. And then, of course, some little jars. Um, today, I'm going to make a sunscreen with this one and uh, your little mixing spoons and whatnot. So there's some of the basics that you'll need. And uh, these should be able to uh, make 20 or 25 different recipes just from this basic stuff. So check out the other videos in the sections under skincare. You're going to see all of these used at some point. And hopefully, um, you'll like those products that you make at home. So if you like that video, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little red bell for all notifications on every new video that I put out.